What is going on guys? This is Official DP, also known as W7ZAR here, as you can see from my hat. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about amateur radio. The fun about amateur radio here. As you can see, we got my radio equipment here uh, that uh, I use here for uh, worldwide radio communications. Now, I'm going to answer a few questions that uh, most people have, regular people. They have, the first question is, what is amateur radio? The second question is, how do I get uh, started in amateur radio? Well, to answer one of those questions, and what is amateur radio? Well, amateur radio is basically, uh, it's basically, what it is, is uh, radio communications and a bunch of, uh, mostly, for the most part, it's a bunch of uh, individuals that share a passion and a hobby uh, alike. So it's pretty fun. Um, as you can see, this is an older radio right here. Uh, it's from the uh, late to early 70s. And uh, this one right here is more, more, much more of a modern radio, um, as you can see for the, uh, the screen there. Um, but, uh, but anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, now, there's programs within the, the hobby, um, like uh, there's this program uh, that helps with uh, uh, search and rescue, and then there's uh, this other program that helps with... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it helps with the uh, uh, law enforcement. I'm not sure the acronyms for their. Well, I know the names for their uh, for their programs, but I don't know what they mean. There's this uh, program called Races, and there's this other one called Aries, I believe. And I'm not sure the uh, the actual meaning of those. Um, but anyways, the those are uh, I know those are uh, involved with law enforcement. Uh, now let's uh, talk about the uh, second point. Um, how do you get into amateur radio? Well, if uh, you know, there's a bunch of amateur radio clubs around the United States, and what you basically need to do is go online and look for your local amateur radio club. Now, you are going to have to take a test to, um, and you're going to have to pass it too. It's a 35 uh, question test, and you're only going to have to miss about, I'd say, roughly seven. I'm not quite sure anymore. But, um, you have to uh, pass that test. There is, um, uh, <clears throat> there is uh, a books you can buy online, uh, you know, uh, because the, uh, there's, there's, there's levels of, of licenses um, in amateur radio. Uh, there's like, uh, there's technician in general, which is my class, and extra. Now, the technician class, you're only able to speak local like local communications. Um, you're also able to listen in to the law enforcement um, uh, communications. So, you know, um, and uh, you also get a small portion of the 10 meter band, which that's a small portion of uh, HF. But 10 meters has been uh, long gone for a while now. So there's no 10 meters as of right now. <clears throat> um, the general class, once you get the general class, you get all of the uh, HF bands, except uh, you get portions of each HF band. Um, now, you get all the whole 160, which that's um, right below the uh, broadcast band, and um, broadcast AM band. And uh, you get all of, uh, you get certain channels allocated on 160, I mean on 60 meters, sorry. Uh, also... The other thing about it is uh, you, um, I don't know, you get to talk all around the world once you get to that uh, portion of, uh, of license, which is pretty cool. I like it, which is, uh, which is why I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a general. But I, I'm going to be going up to extra here soon. So the other thing about it is here, uh, an extra. Well, that right there gives you a lot more privileges, like more frequency, more weight, to, more... Uh, more spectrum to, um, you know, more more headroom, you know, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, regarding, uh, well, yeah, and you also get the DX, the DX uh, uh, frequencies, which you know means you get to talk literally all over the world, and uh, people do that for fun. They're called DXers, you know. Uh, there's also contesters, and those guys get annoying. But anyways, we're not gonna get into those guys, but. Um, Anyways, this is uh, this is my station here. You got the Yezu right there warming up. 
Now you do have to uh, load and tune this. I'll make a separate video on that, on how to show properly without external meters because a bunch of guys on YouTube like to use external meters. As you can see, I don't use no external meters. Uh, and most of the quality that they're using is pretty crappy. So uh, I'm gonna update that. And uh, here's my uh, my other radio here. This is amateur radio communications at its finest. And, um, yep, that's amateur radio for you guys. Anyways, you guys have any questions or anything? Let me know down in the down in the uh, comment section. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Official DP W7ZAR. I'm back out. See ya.